Hi guys, my name is Jalen, and today I'm here to do the bookshelf yearbook tag. And um, Emma Books created this tag, and it looked really fun when I was watching it. And so I decided that I was going to do it because I really like doing tags. I think they're really fun. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so the book with the best cover, of course, has to go to the Shatter Me series. And guess what? I bought the f third book in hardcover last night. That's what the, one of the books that I got. And now I'm so excited to get it. But these covers are just so beautiful. I don't know how, like, really, I would have bought these books just for the covers, if even if the story didn't sound interesting, which is kind of sad, but I would have done it. Like, just, it's beautiful, the detail, and it's amazing. I actually really like this one and this one. I really like the third one, but I love these ones the most, I think. They're just all so beautiful. I can't even get enough. You guys know how obsessed I am. Next is Best Male Protagonist, and for that I picked Damon Black from the Lux series, and oh, I just, there doesn't, there, there's nothing that could even be said. You guys just know. He's just awesome and hilarious and I don't know he's just so much fun to read about and oh I love him I'm obsessed okay I love him next is best female protagonist and for that I chose Rose Hathaway because I just finished reading that series and I am so obsessed I can't I can't even function like I go flip through those books on my phone probably once or twice or maybe five times a day you know I'm obsessed I cannot stop I don't even really want to read anything else because I'm so obsessed but I'm pushing through I am pushing through she's just awesome and she just kicks a major butt and I just love her she's awesome so next category is best villain and of course this has to go to Voldemort from the Harry Potter series because really how much more of a better villain could you get than Voldemort? He's like pure evil. Okay, next category is cutest couple, okay? Guys, I have too many favorite couples. Okay, but I have way too many favorite couples to pick one. So as of right now, one of my favorite couples, actually there's two, but the one that I picked for this tag was Anna and Kaden from the Sweet Evil Trilogy by Andy Higgins and Oh, they're just so awesome, and I really love Kaden, okay? There's no denying it. He's just freaking awesome, and I really like Anna. She's so cool, and I love how, like, I don't even know what I love. They're just so awesome together, and he just wanted them together so bad, and then it happened. Next is coolest fictional world, okay? I got this. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, my favorite book ever. Freaking awesome fictional world. It's so amazing. You got the fairies and the magic that's been banished and you've got how the fae have two different forms and this world that she has created is just amazing and I love it so much. You guys, I I could probably tell you guys 150 times how much I love this series and not get it out enough because I tell so many people, but read it. It's so good. I can't, like, when I start talking about it with friends, it gets a little ridiculous because I just fly off and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Freaking amazing. Best fictional world, like, ever most interesting plot. Now I had a really hard time picking this one because there's a, so many interesting plots but in the end I decided to pick The Selection by Kira Cass because this is such an easy read but you have to know what happens next. Like even like it's really hard to just stop after this one book because I mean even though you know probably how it's gonna end you want to know how they get there and you just you want you have to read it. You just have to. It's so appealing to just open this book up and finish all of the books, the Elite and the One, too. You just can't stop at number one. Next is Most Overhyped Book, and when I say this, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, Oh my gosh, Jaylin, you suck, okay? I didn't like the Infernal Devices 
by Cassandra Clare. And I want to, I'm going to read them again just because I was kind of going through a reading slump. But the love triangle was so bad and I loved Will so much that I couldn't even handle when Tessa said yes to Jim. Because I couldn't, it was just infuriating to me and I couldn't, I couldn't deal, okay, I can't have it, it just, it made me sick inside, okay, it made me sick, oh, I couldn't even have it, but I don't know, I just think so many people like it and I'm like, I didn't like that book, I don't know why, I'm gonna probably end up reading it again just to like reassure myself that I didn't like it, but as of right now, that's it don't know why I didn't like it. I want to like it. I just, I can't like it because I didn't like the love triangle. It just... <sighs> Next is most underhyped book and I have a really hard time picking this one so... So the first one is Wings by April and Pike and I love this series. It was one of those series where I was like uh, 11 years old, 11, 12, and my cousin told me to read it. So I picked up the first one and I was already really into reading because I've always been into reading, but I loved it. I loved this series so much and I read the whole thing and I've read it so many times and the third book leaves you on the worst cliffhanger known to man and I thought I was going to die and so this is one of the underrated books. I know a lot of people know about it, but not a lot of people read it and I loved it and I love the ending. And my second underhyped book is Watched by Cindy M. Hogan because I really like reading about spy books, books about spies. And I, this is a really, really good one. And she even has her spinoff series and the next one's coming out soon and it's just so good. I really think people should read them. The thing about this book, it, I loved it. There was so much in it, but it wasn't like crammed like when I finished I was like was that really one book or did I just read a whole series but she did it so well that it wasn't like jammed in there you know when sometimes you're like there was just too much stuff in that book it wasn't like that at all and I really liked it next is a book most likely to put you to sleep and for this book I chose or for this category I chose Thirst by Christopher Pike because I, I didn't even finish this book. You guys probably know that. I couldn't even handle it. It just... I got, like, I didn't even want to finish it. Like, there was no desire. So, if there's no desire for me to finish it, obviously, I'm probably going to fall asleep in it. Frankly. Tell you the truth. Next category is bo a book most likely to get picked up in a bookstore. And, of course, for this category, I had to choose... The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because even though so many people have already read this book, so many people will continue to pick it up and so many people love the movie and then they want to read the book or people read the book and want to watch the movie. It's just so popular right now and everyone loves it. I don't even know how you can't love this book. It's practically a crime and so definitely gets picked up in the bookstore a lot. Next is a book that will most likely collect dust in a bookstore and for this one I said The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner and I really like this series. The third one's my favorite. It's awesome. I love it. But it's about a thief who um, brags that he can steal anything and so um, he gets caught in this king's prison and then the king's scholar and Magus needs the thief to steal something that's like hidden treasure from another land and it's it's really good and then there's four books but I haven't read the fourth one so I wouldn't know but I think the series is actually really good but I just don't think a lot of people know about it and so yeah next category is most likely to be reread and for me I picked Significance by Shelley Crane because I love that series so much you guys probably already know that. I talk about it all the time. I've reread it four times, which is like the most I've probably ever reread a book. I don't like rereading things, but I just think it's so good. And there's no love triangle. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like it so much is because there's no love triangle. I love it when there's no love triangle. It's just amazing. But definitely a book that I would reread over and over again. Next is the number one greatest book of all time and what other book could you pick besides Harry Potter because it is just so amazing. I mean it's definitely a classic that people love to read because frankly I don't like to read classics and but that's one that I would reread over and over and over again if 
I had them, but I've only read it once, so. But it's definitely a number one book all over the world. I think so many people love that book, and I love it, and so I definitely think that is the number one greatest book of all time. But I hope you guys like this tag. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. And comment below what your favorite book to movie adaption was this year. Because um, there are so many good ones. The Maze Runner, The Giver, If I Stay, um, Divergent, and Fault in Our Stars. And there's probably more that I'm forgetting. But um, comment below what one of those was your favorite. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!